Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, not my channel, Coco Fam's channel. Mm -hmm. Ah, now I can official. Show them Valley. Officially. That's what I thought. Good morning, beautiful. Happy New Week. Blessings filled with positive vibes. And that God will fulfill your week, your new month, with everything that you desire. Seek your love into Him. Seek help into Him. And He will guide you every step of the way. So... It's super early. I've been awake since 5 a.m. and I was watching like many TikTok worship series or videos, let's say. And today I felt inspired starting this new one, new month. Today is the 1st of November. It's on a Monday, so I'm going to make this month the best so I'm starting it off right now by going to the grocery store as I was saying my camera cut me off so I'm heading to the grocery right now never did I woke up so early and get out of house if it wasn't for work and that's like I guess one and a half year ago so it's been a while but I'm feeling super filled today so i'm just going to throw on some clothes head to the grocery get some bread so we can prepare breakfast and then start with our day so let's go because it's so early i'm not going to take a wash and the grocery store is like two minutes away from my house so i'm just going to put on some something so we can head out and then come back home. <sighs> I'm looking very weird with this. <laughs> this is looking so weird. I don't know if I'm feeling the dress, but do I care? No, it's I think it's kind of cute. Anyway, ciao, we're going like this. <laughs> Let me just open my hair so we can pop out of house.
So today I'm going to change the sneakers that I bought that the foot were weren't matching like one is gray and one is purple only the details let's say so it's not like really obvious but the details one foot is purple and the other one is gray like uh, in the lighting you won't see it but when the lighting is you were really like damn girl girl what's what's going on what's going on so i'm going to um change that right now i throw out the box so i have it in this h and i'm back yeah yeah I also have my tripod because I'm going to take pictures and this is the fit. I'm wearing this top by H&M, this jogging by H&M, this is by Bershka. My socks are from H&M also and this Adidas but I will be switching it when I'm going to take pictures for the sneaker that's in here. So. change my sneakers and wear these ones these were the ones that I bought and the color wasn't matching anyway so <laughs> yes we're going to do bed there's like people staring at me at this building this building is so nice though but I don't care there, there was a woman that really came here and stared at me like what is this bitch doing can you see me? Yes, I'm taking pictures. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, real quick, I'm going to put these on, and I'm not going to switch them again when I'm done. I'm just going to walk in this back room. Oh, and also I ran real quick to see you. I got myself something to eat because. Hungry. I don't know why because I literally ate before I stepped out of the house. I had a whole breakfast, but your girl been getting hungry over everything every minute right now. So let me put my sneakers in here. But anyway, so I got a bubble tea, I got a coconut milk bubble tea with blueberry puffins and also I got a CC bao it's a bao pao I think they're called it that it's like a soft bun with um, meat or chicken and a little bit of salad and I chose the CC bun it has teriyaki chicken so it was really good it was really delicious I can't lie but yeah back to the biz back to business let's take some pictures I'm ready <laughs> Oh, and by the way, like, yeah, I don't, know. don't mind that. I will add that out. So I'm wearing this sneaker by Fila. I have to see its names and pop it on the screen for you. <laughs> I don't know what's the name of it. I have these socks by H and M. I think I already showed you all my outfit, right? Anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, okay, back to business. This is the building. It's super nice. Like, I don't want to show you inside because there's still people walking. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little glimpse, but it's super cute. Hi! Today is another day, and as y'all can see, I went and got tested for COVID because I don't know if it's just the flu or COVID, just wanted to be sure. So yeah, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling way better 
than the last few days so that's really good and yeah so let's just wait for the results and i'll update y'all when they came in hopefully in this vlog or on my social media so keep an eye on that right now i'm just heading back home because this weather have me fucked up yeah so let's walk again this is going to be like 50 minute walk or 10 to 50 minutes walk oh and by the way also next week i'm going to get tested again but i'm going to do a um so a test so a test for any sexual trans transmission trans trans tran trans anyway you know what i mean sexual trans trans equiquary sexual transmitted disease yes <laughs> std okay yeah so um i do checkups twice a year and i did it only once this year and before the end of the year i want to take advantage and also get tested again so that's what i did so next week we're also going to come again to get tested please get tested if you feel anything visit your doctor or here in the Netherlands you can just um, sign up for a free test on GGD so you can get tested and you can get tested how many times you want so that's really good so if you want to if you don't want to visit your doctor let him know what's going on blah 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 or if you're having doubts and anything just reach out to the GGD site and make your appointment. <laughs> okay, so I'm in my PJs. I'm going to get a package. My mom just called me and told me that her and my sister delivered a package for me today. So I'm going to see if I got it and then we can see together what it is. They're super sneaky about it. So it's definitely a surprise. So um, yeah, let's grab the package together because I couldn't wait till the morning. So let go. I didn't get the package yet <laughs> so yeah she told me that almost everybody got their package so she thought that I would get mine already but I didn't so I guess save the best for last period so tomorrow we're going to check again <laughs> so let's sleep Yo, I got the package. It's here. I can show y'all the other way around because my address is on it. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm going to try and open it with the front camera so I can see that I'm recording it correctly. And also y'all can get my reaction and see immediately what it is. And also for my sister because her and my mom watch all of this. Whoa, there's like confetti in the shot, man. Wow, wow. Like, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Eh, eh. There's too much confetti in this shit or what? Okay, okay, okay. I can open it. I can, I can, I can. There's like, there was something in the, in this thing. So, so mooi, so klein, so bijzonder. Oh, so cute! This is my niece, y'all. This is my niece. I can't wait to y'all for y'all to meet my niece. My beautiful niece. Throats so outers. Oh, tutti! Oh, this is so cute. So, it comes like this. Ah, so cute! So it's this, and you 
open it and you get like this little packaging for the outers so there's like my sister and her boyfriend's name um proud parents and oh there's like this mini bag with this pacifier oh and you get almonds almonds al almonds almonds I, I guess almendra i don't know what the fuck bitch <laughs> but anyway i'm not going to open it right now because like there's too much confetti in it but it's super cute super adorable like ah so cute <laughs> so y'all i'm super hyped right now i'm editing the vlog but really quick i wanted to um talk to y'all how my whole corona experience went etc how i was feeling my symptoms how did i find out did somebody did i give it to somebody where did i got it like everything i'm going to talk about right now of my covid experience let me check real quick if i'm good in picture because sometimes i'ma just put it there and i don't know if i'm good in picture or anything or, or if y'all can see me so bear with me okay let me check real quick and then we're going to have like a quick 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 to chat <laughs> so y'all y'all <laughs> we are in picture we are in the frame so um let's start with the covid with the whole covid thingy imaging where did i get it or from who and then we will proceed with the rest so um my sister and her boyfriend were, were both sick they had they thought it was a flu and i was around them for like i think two days or something like that i don't even recall what it meant but but anyways i know for sure they were sick and uh, a few days later I was sick so i knew for sure it was there you know it was them that transferred the whole covid thing to me so that's how i got covid corona i transferred this also to another person because you can transfer this easily to another person without even knowing so in my case and i transferred this to another person before even getting the symptoms so i didn't even know that i had covid at that time um so yeah easily it went like that i gave it to another person so i recall that friday i was with this person and on monday i began getting the symptoms but at first i thought it was just a flu because i only had runny and stuffy nose i had high fever I got like that was the thing that really was not normal for me because I got like 24 7 and it was really heavy and also it because I'm short breaded I felt like I'm running out of breath every time that I have to cut or sneeze and also when I got um it was like something was holding me back like literally in the middle of my chest so in the middle of my lungs i was like you know something something hard was holding me back literally in the middle of my um chest so yeah i don't know how to explain it but it it wasn't the best feeling at all so i didn't like coughing at all because i know it was super painful and also i couldn't breathe easily um so in the first few days i was super sick with high fever um runny nose stuffy nose i did everything in my power to you know get better because obviously i don't have nobody to take care of me i wish that i had somebody so i prayed every night since the first day that i was sick i'm like god i'm feeling like i'm getting sick don't let me get super sick like put your hands on me and you know run away with this thing because i don't like it i don't like it it doesn't feel feel okay it doesn't feel right 
So <laughs> I also thank him for that because I'm super thankful that I get him that get like the corona symptoms literally so severe. I have friends that ended up in the hospital for like a few days. So I'm really thankful that I wasn't one of those persons. I'm really thankful that I was able to stay at home and zik it out. <laughs> deal with the symptoms you know it, it wasn't the best it wasn't fun at all but we had what you had to do so um what i did to um minimize the symptoms let's say minimize because i couldn't get rid of the symptoms of course i um took like a lot of ginger shots um, I drink a lot of ginger tea with um, lemon, citrusy, everything citrusy I was consuming, everything, especially the ginger. Let's put like the, you know, the point on the ginger, everything was ginger related and also I was taking vitamins in the morning and at night. So that's what I did so I could have bear with symptoms. So let's say Monday I got the symptoms around thursday randomly i was eating and i couldn't taste the thing that i was eating so it was really weird and i couldn't smell anything so the first thing that i grabbed to smell is glacial if you have one of these if you're from the caribbean if, and if you have one of these you know that this thing is like when you just put it under your nose it feels like a whole, you know, a whole fresh air going on there. But I couldn't even smell that this thing. Like, I couldn't. I couldn't. I was smelling everything. It literally went like this. It literally went like this. Imagine, like, I had something to drink in, in this cup. And I was like... Literally, it went like that. It went like that. I couldn't smell. I couldn't taste nothing all of a sudden all of a sudden i have this body scrub i also bought literally i grabbed it so i can show you i have this body scrub that i bought at primark if you have this body scrub or if you ever smell this body scrub in primark you know that this thing is super fragrancy like the extreme like if you can smell this like you can smell nothing i was literally like this <laughs> without it I, I i couldn't smell it i couldn't i couldn't for nothing like for nothing you know what was the most weirdest thing sometimes i wonder if i'm smelling like my armpits are smelling or if i'm smelling good or whatever or if my hair is smelling bad because i couldn't smell anything so i wonder like what's happening like can another person smell that i smell bad or i smell good it was really weird but yeah i had to cook with it it's not like you can not taste anything at all you can still you're still able to taste something that it's sweet sour or salty so if it's sweet salty or sour then you can taste the sweet salt or sour that's it but if it doesn't have like a particular taste then you won't taste it it was friday i think i went to get tested and on saturday i had to run some errands and i came across the person that i was with the week before and when you know we greet each other i noticed at their voice that they are sick so i asked like are you sick and they were like yeah Chum. Anyways, <laughs> at that point, I know I, I I gave it to that person without even knowing. At that point, I knew it. I, I knew it. So it's so easily to transfer COVID to another person without, without even knowing. Be careful out there. COVID, it's no joke. Take care of yourself because you can get this so easily. Like 24-7, I was protecting myself out there and still... I was able to get it after two years of COVID being here after two years I still got it so I thought that I would never get it but 
I got it. Ciao, I got it. But anyway, right now I'm super happy. You know why? Here in the Netherlands, you have to get a QR code if you're vaccinated. But if you had Corona, you can get like a herstelling document thingy. Anyway, so you get a document that stated that you had Corona and you don't have it anymore. And you can use that without having a QR code. Like that's amazing so right now i'm super happy that i'm able to you know use that but anyway so that's the thing that i'm super happy with but lily take care and yes that's it for this vlog that's that's all i wanted to say i guess if y'all have any other questions like you can pop the question or you can dm me before i close this vlog i really wanted to say um i have an unboxing coming up um hopefully i get this thing like this week so i can do the unboxing that's one second for vlogmas i'm working on a few things like y'all being requesting the vlogmas thing already so i'm thinking that i'm going to do vlogmas this year but i want to give it a little extra christmasy sauce so i'm working on that so be pending stay pending on my social medias and also online vlogs and i will update y'all what's about to happen for december for the christmasy vibes it's beginning to look a lot like christmas <laughs> anyway i'll talk to y'all in my next vlog Ciao.